San Francisco's Union Square is emptier than ever before. And it's not a joke. You know, Union Square in San Francisco is now just empty square. Macy's right here, closed. AT&T next door, closed. I'm not even sure how the AT&T ran out of business, but apparently they did. You also have Uniqlo closed because of shoplifting. You got an entire mall next door that closed down the Westfield Mall. And also hotels like Park 55, you know, the Hilton, all closed down and several dozens of high-end retailers from Nordstrom Rack to Old Navy and to everyday mom and pop stores are pretty nice. Everyone's kind of just gone and it's frankly kind of sad. And sure, there's a few stores moving in like the Ikea, which is a really big boost for San Francisco, but what's one store gonna do when you have like 30 stores moving out? What's seven small stores moving into the mall when you have like three dozen large stores leaving? San Francisco is going down the drain. If you look at some of the hotels around the area, like the Hilton San Francisco Union Square and the Park 55, both buildings together back in 2016, valuation $1.56 billion. 2024 valuation $533 million, valuation loss of a billion bucks, evaporation of all that liquidity. Why is that? Well, people necess don't really want to go to a place to do business or visit or have a vacation when it's so incredibly dangerous to do so. And then when you also look at this, the prices of some of the highest, best neighborhoods in San Francisco are now selling for pennies on the dollar, guys. If you want to see a high-end neighborhood in San Francisco, Knob Hill is where you want to go. This is where like the high-end condo buildings like the Robert A.M. Stern condos are. This is where all like the tech multimillionaires and billionaires live. Well, here you go. 2019, this condo, $1 million, right? 2024, $728,000. This is a huge drop for a neighborhood that's considered the top five best for techies. And when you have a valuation drop of almost 30% in a very short amount of time, despite America's real estate going up in value, Knob Hill is now one of the lousiest neighborhoods out there. I just can't imagine spending a million bucks and seeing all my money evaporate like that. And the really crazy part is there is no more condo construction. You know, before the pandemic, they were constructing condos like there's no tomorrow. Now nobody wants to buy these condos. People want out. People are willing to sell for steep discounts. And like I said, this is Knob Hill we're talking about. This is not some neighborhood in the Tenderloin. This is not some neighborhood in the Civic district. This is not some random condo building on Market Street. This is Knob Hill. It's a good place. And they still sold for a very cheap price. And it's going to get cheaper as time goes on. A lot of you guys in the comment section have said that a lot of these neighborhoods are deteriorating from Fishman's Wharf to some of the nicest places near the water, you know, the Mission District. And you're right. Many of these places are deteriorating fast. Even Knob Hill, for example, already have dozens and dozens of empty stores, and it's only gonna get worse. Can San Francisco get its act together? We don't really know. Right now, Union Square is empty. This is kind of like the place where you want to have as many people as possible. Union Square being empty with a bunch of empty stores is kind of like saying New York City's Fifth Avenue is completely vacant with no people walking around. Or Brickell's Miami's downtown having dozens and dozens of empty stores. This is a huge deal. This is basically destroying the city. And can the Bay get its act together? I don't know. Because Oakland right now, the mayor is going through a big scandal. San Francisco is the same as before. I'm not really sure anymore.